there was another famous philosopher. Well, he's not that famous, but his uh, his name was Duns Scotus, uh, and that's where we get the word dunce from. Uh, Duns Scotus was a medieval philosopher, and he made the distinction between essences of uh, a group and essences for the individual. So what we've been talking about is what he would call hacity, which is the unique essence which specifies a unique individual. But we also essentialize groups, and this is how you get prejudice. So you say they're all alike, or they've all got something like that, and that's uh, that's quiddity. So within essentialism literature, there are two distinctions. The essence of the group defines the membership of that group, and then the unique individual, which is the hacity. So all dogs have quiddity because of their dogginess, but your Fido, your pet dog, has his own sort of hacity. So it's an interesting distinction to draw, but of course, Hacity and quiddity are metaphysical. They're conceptual. We just invoke them when we're categorizing and drawing distinctions between groups and individuals and unique ones. It sounds like he was a thoughtful person. Why did the word dunce come from his name? <laughs> because they thought he was just being, because he was, he was basically criticizing Plato. Plato was very much from the sort of, you know, the group identity sort of thing. So they were, I, I, I can't remember what was going on at the time, but that's the origin of the word dunce. But it was a whole, a, a, the philosophers, you know what they're like, they're always arguing about these sorts of things. Mm -hmm. 